right, welcome to a new video. Today we will be trying to get Metal Slug 1 and 2 unlocked from the Neo Geo, uh, the SNK Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, blah, blah, blah. I have it right here. So as you can see, I haven't done it yet. So we have one out of 20. Uh, let's see if I can point it. Right there, you can see I put the USB stick already so it did recognize it so that's good so the first step is you have to go to the SNK website download the two zip files they're gonna be there it's gonna show on, on the main page they'll show the arcade stick click there then downloads and it they're right there there are two zip files you open the zip files there's two there's a for each file there's going to be a folder inside that folder there's a file that's the file that you're going to put on your root of your thumb drive. The root is just the main part of your thumb drive. So I just grabbed a really old two gig stick that I had and that was my that's going to be what I'm doing. So that's the first part. Second part. So it's two two zip files, two CD keys, one for Metal Slug and Metal Slug 2. Put them. No, we're going to put them into USB drive port on your arcade stick. Next part, which I have not done. So we're doing this live, not live, but on real time. So you're going to go to the bottom. Let's go back so you can see the little gear cob thing, that icon right there. You're going to press A. You're going to go down to system and you're going to click unlock. Confirm. Now let's go to, you're going to press B to return. And nothing happened. All right, so nothing happened. Let's see what went wrong. Maybe we have to wait. Did I do it too fast? System, unlock. I don't see anything, it just says confirm. B to return. And maybe I need to reboot. Okay. All right, so let's turn it off and do a reboot. I'm gonna remove the drive. And maybe the drive didn't work. Maybe that was the issue. So we're doing a reboot. Nothing. Even though my stick did get recognized. All right, so now that one says that, all right. Let's try it one more time. You see, it doesn't say anything. That's the weird part. And reboot, and maybe with it on. So you see, now we're gonna encounter issues and hopefully we can solve these issues. So let's see what happens now. All right, so let's go back to that one. You see, it comes this. And nothing happens. So let me try a different thumbstick and I'll be right back. All right, so somehow it managed to do it. So what happened was the files have to go inside the folder that says CD key. So when you uh, unzip it, there's going to be CD key metal slug. Then you open that folder and there, there's another folder. That's the folder that has to go into the root of your thumb drive. So once you do that, you can put both uh, CD disk, CD key files in that folder 
And when you click it, it'll, it'll show the two pictures here of Metal Slug. So that was it. So even though I, I squeaked the pooch right there. But now I have them. So they should be all the way at the end. Oh, where are they? Oh, there they are. Metal Slug and Metal Slug 2. So let's try it. I already removed the 2 gig drive. So the game is not here. The game is in the system itself. That is pretty cool. Alright, so let's start. So as you can see, let me mute this for a second. Uh, it has the blood on it. This is the one with the blood. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Got me. I haven't played this game in a while. But that's it. That is a proof of concept. This is actually working. Let's exit that. Let's try Metal Slug. Wonder what happens if I do a factory reset. Do I keep the games? Yeah, they're working nicely. Shoot the birds? No, I can't shoot the birds. So both of them have the, the bloody versions. Don't kill my POW. All right, very cool. That worked out. I hope you found this video useful. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.